I've decided to go ahead and fix the paint on the wingtip. Why put off today what I can do right now? Because I know this is going to work. They're all free. I, you know, I just, I hate bringing stuff that looks like this out to the field. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shoot the white on this. And we'll see if we can get the, the trim on it too. Let's see here. Turn that off so I don't have to listen to that damn thing run. Uh, we got any white in here? Yep. Hopefully it's not plugged up. Been sitting for a day. But I'm going to change out that stupid coupler. It's terrible. Clean this nozzle, too. That coupler is shot. I was outside for 20 seconds, and the damn mosquitoes got me. I cannot go outside without the mosquitoes getting me. Okay, we got that fixed. Let's change out this fitting. Because it's no good. We'll save it, but it ain't no good. And it leaks. You know what? We'll use the brass one here. The zone, the auto zone. Thanks. And I got like five bites and itching all over. the hell is leaking? Oh well. Now we wait again. <laughs> Bagged up pretty good there. That's good. I've uh, I got it pretty much taped off. I need to shoot it this way though. Shit. Wonder why that gun leaks like that. What's what's leaking? Maybe it's this fitting here. Nope, it's on there tight. I don't know. I guess I gotta eat more bananas. Keep the skaters off.
I guess we'll get out my repaired hair dryer and force dry it. It's going to be fine. It, I mean, you won't be able to tell. That guy said today, he said, I just love how you uh, <laughs> fix it, Doc. No big deal. Well, it ain't no big deal. <laughs> Not a big deal at all. I have been through just about every scenario that you can think of. Holes in the wings, in the leading edge, and broken fuselages, and all kind of crap. Glue it back together and paint it up and go for it. <laughs> no big deal. But that's dope. That's what you can do with dope. You can't do that with any other paint. If you had lacquer, even lacquer would be tough. I think we're flying tomorrow. Let me put, put in the text and see if we're flying. And let's see here. Yeah, uh, flight ops tomorrow. Flight ops tomorrow at 8 o'clock? Question mark. Okay. I hope so. I got two airplanes I need to test. This one and the Magnum. You know, I I looked at the, I was looking at the stream past videos. I won the concourse trophy with the Monado, and it was ten years old. How can you have a rough work? You don't even know the shape of the tips. <laughs> but I mean, we got a fifty-eight inch span. And uh, the ribs are an inch and a quarter apart, eighth inch. I mean, I gave the numbers out. I, I can give you the numbers. But the shapes is what makes it look cool. We got to get, got to get this dry. Oh, okay. I never designed an airplane over 48 inches long either. So there's a couple of reasons for that. One is fitment in the car. And then big long job, you can't get in the car. <laughs> that you don't want to span all that mass away from the center of gravity. So, um, I'll send you the drawing and we'll see how close you are to my drawing. I got one, I got one half done, the outboard tip. And I probably shouldn't have done this stream because it's going to be all about waiting. I got to have two coats of white on it. And it's got to be dry enough for me to... to uh, It'll be dry enough for me to tape on so I can put the red and the orange on. I doubt I get them on tonight, but we'll at least get the white on it.
Ooh, I see a little bubble there. That's hot. That's okay. We'll sand it off and shoot it again. got nine watchers you know I, I notice our count is going up and up and up like three a day that's good so whatever you guys are doing with the likes and subscribes and all that stuff it seems to be working what how YouTube's algorithms go or whatever it says it shows that people like your content so the more you like it and comment and interact with the chat that's called engagement so when the engagement goes out they send my videos out to people who haven't seen it so i'm i used to get i looked at uh, in 2014 we started with 18 subscribers it took me a year to get to 100 then after a year i got 500 the next year and then a thousand and then so at this rate, by the time I'm dead, we'll have 50,000. <laughs> so we're on our way. And that helps. I mean, you guys think I'm making big money by these ads. I think I made eight cents on YouTube premium last month, eight cents. I mean, there are people that are making big money on it. I'm gonna build my own coffin. Sounds morbid, but I know lots of guys that did it. I think when I saw Bob Giske's co coffin, you'd swear that he built it. It was white pine, lacquered clear. I mean, it was nice. It was a nice piece of furniture. <laughs> much better than plastic or whatever they metal or whatever they make them out of but his was all white pine with red i think it was no it was white velvet inside white with red trim that's right That's right. It's uh, this is not something that that you just grasp. You know, you gotta somebody's gotta pass it. My dad passed it down to me. My uncle Jerry passed it down to me, and I hung around the old guys, Tom Warden and and uh, Bill Noyes, and they were probably thirty years older than me at the time, maybe twenty five years older than I was. You had I had to learn from somewhere. I 
had to learn it from somewhere. This dope, this white is, doesn't dry as fast as the clear. Need it dry and then I'll scuff it. One more coat. And it'll be as white as it's going to get. Then I'll put the trim on it and that'll be it. the switch <laughs> enough to get another one yeah I could slather it like Wendy yeah I could looking pretty good looking pretty good got a couple of bubbles here I got to get out and a couple of pinholes but be a couple more coats and then uh i got it too hot i got what happens is you get a boiling when you force dry like that so, so see it's uh it's relaxing right away Now it'll tighten up again. Watch it close. There it goes. I'm going to have to echo green that spot there if I want it perfect. I just want to get it close for tomorrow. hot she's a hottie get another piece of sandpaper we could dip it we could dip it in some plastic dip <laughs> that's what you do when you see it loosened up again that's what you do when you urethane it. Plastic dip. Spot of echo green right there. Now, do you guys see how I got this taped? 
I got the black squares taped off because we're not painting black. So that's on a that's on a separation line. It won't show. I've got this back roll. It's rolled back. So this is not the hard line of the the uh, masking tape. It's the underside. It's the sticky side. It's rolled back, covered up. I'm just letting it kind of blow over that way, blend it in. And what I'll do is when I get this done here is I will move this back another, I don't know, four or five inches, paint these stripes all the way down, get it inked, and uh, then take it off completely and then clear, the, clear it farther back and it'll all blend in it'll be gone you can't tell and after you rub and polish it psh, nobody can tell let me get some 800 if you look back on my channel the Monado the very first flight at Booter Park <laughs> picked up a stick and poked a hole in the bottom of the wing and I brought it back here and I patched it up. I did it on camera. This is 1500. I don't want that. There's the 800. The trick is don't panic. Got some cheats, man. See how it's wrinkled up there? Not to worry. It'll by tomorrow morning I'll be tight as Dick's hat band. See, it's pretty green. It's balling. It's balling up. That's okay. We want to get it done. Okay. Let's hit it with another coat. Maybe I'll acro green that first. That way I won't have to come back. I'm gonna have to get between there too. Where's my file? This is the airplane I wanted to fly at the Nats this year, but didn't have the time with it. You know, I got a starting problem. I ordered a starter today, and then I also ordered a new nose cone for that starter. It'll be here this, this week, probably. I ordered some balsa wood from National Balsa. It's supposed to be here Saturday, and I'm going to give you my assessment on what their Aerolite balsa wood is. If it's seven pounds, I'll box it up and send it back. I got some uh, wood in for Steve, for Steve's crossfire. It, uh, It wasn't the lightest wood, but it was four to six pounds. So 
that came from a different source. Okay, let that dry. It's all about drying. All this drying shit. Not the most exciting stream. You guys spend a lot of time with me, that's for sure. How many videos we got, but we got to be getting close to 3,000. Yeah, it didn't bubble it, so in good shape. Three thousand videos for you guys to peruse and enjoy. I know it's close. They were over twenty five hundred quite a while ago. Get the damn thing to close. There we go. We got it. So how many of you guys think you're not going to be able to tell when I get this done? I lay that clear on there, it seals it in and polish it off. It'll be beautiful. Not quite. Of course, it don't matter. I'm going to hit it again. That's right. What repair? The idiot leadouts. You know, I built this. I built this in Dayton in my apartment, and I really couldn't see in there. I mean, the lighting was horrid. I even had a. I had a fixture. That I hung up on, you know, some light stands. I still couldn't see nothing. Here I have, uh, let's see, four, four, eight, twelve, sixteen, twenty. I have twenty four foot fluorescent bulbs and four spots, <laughs> plus plus a light on a on a arm. And if I could get some, I'm going to get some more. I'm going to put them in here. I'll, I'd cover the whole damn ceiling with fluorescent fixtures, can fixtures. The biggest part of building an airplane is be able to see what the hell you're doing.
Well, I called old Dan Winship and I left a message. If you're alive, call me back. You have a single bulb, huh? Well, they're not very expensive. They're only 50 bucks a can. At least they were when I bought them. Back when I had money. <clears throat> After... Uh, Well, do like I did. Get a get two uh, camera light stands and hoist it up above the bench with a. I've been to Joe and all. I was there twice. It's probably the best, the best grass circles in the in the world there. The pavilion's built like a cabinet. They got a great museum. A great barbecue for everybody. They served 30,000 meals the year I was there at the barbecue. That's a long way for me now, though. I was in Dayton when we went, and it still took, I don't know, 10 hours to get there. So it'd be a, it'd be a big ordeal for me to come now. I'm going to go back. We're going to go to Tulsa. I haven't been to Tulsa in 20 years. Time for me to hit hit the circuit on the on the going uh, going the other way. MDF board on top of a folding plastic table. Well, you're a CAD designer. Use your ingenuity. Makes it make something up. Something you can bolt together and. Uh, take apart. It's what I did in that apartment. Tighten it up one more time and I'll hit it with some more whites. Oh, no, I won't. <laughs> it died completely. The motor died completely. No, oh, no, it didn't. There we go. I think John's been over here. He swapped my silk fan. I got some pinheads in this. <laughs> we got the pinholes. No big deal. Slick her down. We'll get it on there. Lick her down. Mm. 
yeah, I figured people would freak out when I cut up a nice airplane. <laughs> I mean, I could have done it all the way up there, but you know, you try to do as least amount as possible. But I would have done it if it needed it. Okay, I said it was another coat. <sighs> I've been known to cut the wing out of airplanes if I have to. Good night, David. What's going on here? Yep, we got an answer. Trying to decide. Club meeting at Buddha tomorrow evening, so I don't want to make. I won't be there. At, I'm not going at night. Gonna need one more. You see how it wrinkled? It's just the way it is. The reason I say it needs one more is that I can see through the white there, and there's a little spot there. And I mean, if you weren't too particular, it would be all right. But it's a pretty nice airplane. I don't want to. Yep, you guys can go at 8 o'clock at night all you want. I'm going to get it when the wind is good. You know what? I'm, gonna... I'm just going to sit here and talk to you while it dries because I don't want to bubble it. So... This is the stunt camp. <laughs> this is what I do. This is what I do. Let's see here. Then trying to decide. I do not want to make two trips. I don't know if I can last all day. Waiting to hear from the peanut gallery on what their plans are. Morning ops or afternoon ops? Evening ops? Get there before three and get some flights. Wind is wind. Let's see. Let's go back up. Wind is perfect early morning. The wind is perfect. Perfect early morning. There we go. Not so much in the afternoon. Okay, can you explain how you're going to blend the colors back into the wingtip? Well, I certainly, I did already, but I'll say it again. Okay, I'm good. I'm going to take the tape off of this. This, These are black squares here. Those are lines already. So you won't notice the difference. This piece of tape here is rolled back on itself. This is not a hard line here. It, it, and I'm not, I'm not putting a lot of paint up in this area here. Otherwise, you'd see a hard line. You just let it blow in that direction. So as soon as I get this white on it, I will remove this here and I'll move it back an inch or so 
rolled back on itself and then I'll tape the orange or the red, the orange and the yellow. Then I will remove all of this and I will shoot 60, 40 or 70, 30 clear dope from here to there and it will all melt together. It'll blend just like a blending agent. We got some we got some work to do here. This is gonna take some more some more coats. We're gonna have to gonna have to sand on this. This is not not perfect. But we'll get it. I have extreme faith. Does that explain everything, Tony? I will guarantee that when you, if you held my model in your hand and looked where I repaired it, you won't be able to see the paint line when it's finished. Unlike a car, you can always see the fade, the blend. But with dope, you don't because the thinner melts, melts the dope together. See, I, when I uh, put the silk span on, I tore the edges so we don't have a, a hard line. If you, if you tear a hard line, you have to sand a hard line, and then you can see a lump in it. No good. So you tear the silk span and let it just kind of lay over there. And when you put the clear on it, you feather that in just like you would a primer so that there's no lump in it. Then blowing the... Uh, the paint in that direction, it'll be fine. Well, I'll be there. Okay, I'm planning on being there at 8 o'clock. Either way, I'm not going to make the meeting. All right, guys. I'll fly by myself. I got a stooge. I got a stooge. It's going to be longer and longer. I'm, I'm not going to get this uh, done in an hour. I'm gonna have to uh, let it let it harden up just a little more and sand it, and it, that'll probably be till nine o'clock before I get this done. And I'm not gonna have to hold you online. Yep, that's Brandon. Yep. I'm on this stupid chain text for flyers. They may not answer till midnight. I, I've gotten text at 2 o'clock in the morning. Got to hold off. It's starting to get a little bubble again. See, what that is, why it bubbles, is it's holding the thinner underneath the paint. And this paint is plastic, and, it bu and the thinner is trying to get out. It skins over and trying to get through the skin if you get it too hot. And I got to I gotta address this area right here, but it, it's going to be a real good repair. I can see that coming already. Pretty nice smelling repair. Got a spot there, and a spot there, and a spot there. Uh, 
No, here's another one. We got another one. Not looking bad for Friday morning. Okay, so we might get a couple of sessions in. I got to get some practice in before FCM, and I'm hoping that Magnum works right off the board. It looks like it will. I bench trimmed it. I got it balanced where I think it should balance. It's 62 ounces. I'm not happy about that, but we'll live with it. It's pretty much, I could spend another week on it buffing it, but man, I get tired of buffing. I need to get this airplane going because this, this was supposed to be my Pampa airplane for this year, and I ended up flying the Continental and chipping the prop. It's got problems too. I don't know. I just didn't have enough time. I'm trying to replace my Junar. And this one flies like the Junar. It just uh, it had that lead out problem. I like how they, when they come down, they go, stick, stick. <laughs> That's when they're good. That's when they're light and nose heavy. Like, yes, yeah, stick. This one's an ounce heavier than my other one. What are you going to do? It's 59 instead of 58. But it was 60 with them other stupid wheels, Ali. I can tell you unequivoc unequivocally, I can feel an ounce in an airplane. I can feel a lot of stuff. I don't know whether other guys feel it or not, but I can feel it. And I don't... I'm not b believing I could feel rat turds on an airplane. That is the stupidest thing I ever saw. That and I tried taped hinges one time. Not going to do that again. <laughs> I don't know if I had I had him. See, I think Hunt helped me. No, it was... No, it was Chris Rigotti who helped me tape them. That's right. We sh that's the year Chris and I shared a room. And I almost hit the ground with my Supermarine. Not his fault. It's just tape hinges are too stiff for me. Chris is a good builder. If he'd get away from Monaco, he'd do really good. And according to Top Flight, they can't finish an airplane as light as I can. So, it's just a lot of work. What that is. You guys watching me instead of watching the airplane. I think after the next coat, we'll leave it. That'll be the last coat I'll do on stream. Because I could make this last till it was done. I don't think you guys want to sit and watch paint dry. 
What the hell happened to my file? There, nope, that ain't it. Shop ate it again. I'm waiting to look over and see something running away. I didn't go anywhere. Not on the floor. It's not over on my beautician's rack. You know, I'm gonna make a, I'm gonna make that a paint gun holder, I think. Damn. I'll get another one then. Here it is, way the hell over here. How do you get over here? Jumped off the table and ran away. I'm serious, it was way over there. <laughs> I didn't get take it over there. Looks like we're not going to get to the colors until tomorrow. So that's okay. We'll get the uh, white on it, and that'll be good enough for the field. Ain't like I got to impress the judges there. I'm just happy the controls are freed up. So if there's anything that can come of this, any uh, lesson to be learned for my little screw up here, make sure the lead outs, first off, aren't crossed, and second, aren't touching or rubbing on anything. I cut away that piece of that rib. It was only eighth of an inch I cut that rib away the very first rib right here was rubbing on them that rib I'm Steve Smith okay Have fun. Stay for the meeting. Whatever. I'll have the feel all to myself. I'll be able to get in some trim flights. Bring two airplanes, so I should be able to, to do uh, go twice as fast. Fly this, get it back to the pits, let it cool off. Fly the Magnum, get it back to the pits, let it cool off. Fly this, every other one. So that works for me. If you guys don't want to play, that's that's fine.
Don't bother me. Let's see, we want to get that right there. I hate doing round lead outs, they're just so fiddly. DC 540, I'd go and it'd be finished. I wouldn't have to worry about it. Gonna have to find another primer that's equal to while I don't advocate for priming the whole airplane, it sure makes these repairs nice when you can just go and then sand it out five minutes later and then shoot paint. Hit it with another coat, see what happens. Yeah. Keep dicking with it till it's perfect. See how it looks in a minute. I'm not going to heat it, though, because I don't want to bubble it. So I think I'm going to end the stream. It's still it's still kind of ratty around the lead out, so I probably have to do wait a day to sand it out real good because it's, it's pretty gummy stuff. But up here, it looks good. Up here on the, the seam, it looks good. Along here on the, on the repair... Looks real good. It just doesn't look good around the wingtips. Or the lead outs, I mean. See how it's bagged up? Not good. I mean... But you, you won't be able to see that line once it's cleared back to here and sanded out. Never see it. But these lead out area, this lead out area is pretty ratty. Pretty ratty. I, I'm going to have to dink with that a little bit. And take more paint to fill it. Still got that little spot right there. Another coat of aqua green. Whatever, whatever it's going to take, we're going to get them lead out holes to look right. 
because this is way too nice a model to have a ratty spot on it. I wish it would have gold leafed this one. But I don't like the font. The font that's on it is not that great. From now on, either I'm going to use Brush or Vada Boom. That uh, Helvetica script is crap. I tried to be different. I think that's why I made no, I made the different cowl on this one because John said you always make the cowls the same. <laughs> Yeah. <clears throat> Cal on this one. Yeah, Cal on this one is my normal my normal setup. Yeah, we'll just let this dry. Yeah, that ain't no better. How long should you wait for the paint to dry? Until it's dry. <laughs> I force dry it sometimes, but it's not a good practice. I'm just trying to I'm trying to get ahead of the game for tomorrow so I go out and it and it looks halfway decent. Now it'll look just like a body shop, you know. I it it'd be repaired. You know, it doesn't have the trim on it yet. But I think I think that'll we'll let, we'll let that go as is for tomorrow because I'll retape it and pull it back so the blend gets gets done see the the overspray sprayed up up to the rib you know the rib stopped it the cap strip stopped it but we're going to tape the red off and go all the way along it and the orange off and go all the way around it and then when i clear it i'll clear it all the way back to here completely disappeared nothing different than the body shop The body shop will, on a collision repair, will go to a body line or a paint line. Well, that's the same thing I'm doing here. And then they use a blending agent. But urethane is different. Urethane. Urethane does not blend. It just, it doesn't. You'll have overspray no matter what. I won't have any overspray on this. Now you can shoot it with straight thinner too if you can't get it to blend right. Not recommended because you can melt your airplane, but you can do it if you're good.
I may not even worry about that. May just let it go. So we're getting ready for the Nats next year. Shot that on dry when I did that. Oh, that's what it was. Okay, I have I have a spot here on the flap that it looks like the clear peeled up. It did because when I cleared this, uh oh, got blood on it. When I cleared this, I didn't tape that flap off. I uh. I just let the dust, the clear dust over it. Well, the clear that dusts over it doesn't melt into the coat below it. So when I put the tape on it, it peels off. So I'll get the tape. I mean, that'll all melt when I come back over and clear it, because I'm going to douse the clear on there real good. Well, we'll put a piece of tape on here and get it to peel off what it, what's on there. I don't need to carry around loose paint. This is when I need me some Gorilla tape. Exactly what happened. Close enough. When I come back and flood it, it'll be fine. I'm a little concerned about this lead out guide area, but I'm not sure that it would, it really matters that much. I got the overspray off there. That's good. Now, if you. If you want to take the overspray off, you can take a little alcohol and douse it a little bit. But I wouldn't do that because then you're changing the paint line. That's clear overspray there. Well, hopefully they come get the trash tomorrow. Take out, take out my trash again. I've filled it up twice again this week. All this painting crap. See it? Uh, it oversprayed around the wingtip too, but that's okay because we're going to paint those stripes. And then when I clear it, it'll the clear will over seal all that stuff on the top too i may have to go around you know spray spray some clear on the top 
and blend that in. But trust me, it will be fine. <laughs> You will not see it. Not a chance in hell. And the only reason why I'm fixing this paint is because I know that I got the, the problem fixed. I can feel no bind. be in there. We be jamming. I gotta have some time on this airplane if I'm gonna fly it at FCM. off the bench poke a hole in something put this away and this away yeah we'll, we'll let that dry overnight and uh Put the red on it tomorrow after the flying session for red and clear. At least it's in one color anyway. Yeah. Let's see. Do we have it? No, we don't have a. We'd be jamming. We'd be fixed up. I don't feel any overspray on this wing. That's good. Let's see what that side looks like. Oh, it looks like we might have to get a little bit of alcohol on there. Clean off. The, yeah, see, I... I'll show you a little trick. Show you a trick. What about poked a hole in my wing? Where are you going? Okay. You see all the overspray here? Not a problem. A little bit of alcohol and a and that 70 won't take it off, 90 will. And we got them both, but we'll try 70 first. Because I don't want to have to paint the top. Nope. If I rub on it, I guess. Or I could polish it off. And we'll do that. We won't hit it with 90 because 90 softens it up. We'll hit it with some 2000 grit and polish it off. Yeah. 
it don't want to come off so we'll fix it another way we got a 25 in this pile nope i got 15 here let's get a piece of 15. see i didn't panic no panic No panic, it's just elbow grease. Little piece of 15, little Windex seal. God damn, stupid stands. faster where is that steel wool yeah it's 2000 try some 2000 on it again Yep, I'm going flying. Okay, didn't didn't want to cooperate with me, so I gotta, gotta go to extreme measures here. Come on, get down. Okay, fuck you. <laughs> Sorry. Good enough.
I guess as long as I'm fixing it, I ought to fix that little dent up there too. We'll see, we'll see about that tomorrow when I start doing the color. <sighs> you see, I had that overspray there, and it's all gone. All gone. Nothing to worry about. A little bit more. I polish this airplane again it'll really shine because it paint's been drying for a year got good and hard Good enough. Good enough for tomorrow. You can doctor up anything else. Let me sh let me show you the separator line, so you know not to worry when you do this. All these shinies. Maybe that's a good good angle there. I, I've always had that little white spot right there, but that's not a problem. When I tape this orange stripe off, I'll tape off from here, go all the way around to the other side, and same with the yellow, and same with the red. And... Uh, And when I clear it, all this all this uh, haze right here will disappear because we're going to clear the you know the whole wing tip basically top and bottom, and then sand and polish it. Now I do have a spot in this. See right here, right there. There's this piece of hanger rash I was trying to get out with steam, and I got it better, but it's not perfect. So. I'm thinking that as long as after tomorrow when I fly this, and as long as I'm doctoring this up, I'll go ahead and do this square here too. I'll uh, take some aqua green, float it in there, block sand it, shoot the black, and when I got the clear out, we'll do this. You know, I'll do do everything at once. You just got to kind of keep after it, you know. The, the damn things are so easy to get hanger rash on them. 
you better know how to fix it. Yeah, I'd have done gold leaf. I just don't like these letters that I chose. If I was ambitious, I'd paint, paint over them and do it again. But I ain't that ambitious. This is a good airplane. It's uh, it flies just like the other one, and that's what I'm looking for. Controls are free now. No binding. <sighs> All right, guys. It's nine o'clock. Like, subscribe, and share. I'll be on tomorrow sometime. If I, I got the batteries charged on the on the hot spot. The batteries charged in the phone. I'll set up the tripod. And maybe I'll walk to the other side of the circle. Set it up so I can see what I'm doing. Oh, but no guarantees. Nothing's a guarantee anymore. All depends on how I feel. See my little stinker? He, this comes from the Skunk Works, too. <laughs> All right, we'll see you tomorrow, Fairwinds Tight Lines. As soon as I can find the mouse, we'll see you. There it is. Come on. Come on. All right, see you.